this every day, really. Now, they say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but what happens when the traditional bowl of cereal or slice of toast just doesn't see you through to lunchtime? Joining me now is a man who plans to revolutionise the British breakfast. Brave chap. Please welcome Chef Peter Gordon and the woman who I hope enjoys a hearty breakfast, even if she doesn't breathe fire over it, Deborah Meaden. <laughs> breakfast eater well i'm not actually oh. i enjoy a good breakfast when i eat it but do you yeah. know i normally miss breakfast and i know i know i know i should eat so, it well why should we eat it peter what's the well it's the, i mean it's the start of the day and i i think it's the your day if you have a good breakfast you get off to a good day but a people good worry week. about weight you know well they shouldn't worry as much if they eat properly during the day. So the breakfast, I mean, what I love about breakfast is if you go through Southeast Asia or India, or often breakfast can be a really spicy curry or something like a, I don't know, something with lots of flavour, lots of gumption. that time of day, Deborah, curry. It's, it's the best way to have it, really. Otherwise, if, if, if you think that you have toast with butter, then that's a weight to put her on her. Yeah. It's, you know, but if you have something with a bit of um, oomph, a bit of chilli, a bit of spice... So what, do you, what have you we going. got here? We've got two here. See, which of these you fancy, Deborah? What's okay. That? Well, this is kind of like a deconstructed muesli and fruit. So it's an apple stuffed with oats, a bit of honey, butter and cinnamon, blueberries and yoghurt. Blueberries are good, full of antioxidants. Oh, it's nice. It's probably tasty. And this, oh, no, this is... This a, is uh, it's chorizo. So it's a spicy Spanish sausage yeah. with smoked paprika. There's tomato and garlic and a soft-boiled egg. Is that technically breakfast? That's what I'm this asking. This is kind of brunchy brekkie. <laughs> if, if you ah. come to my restaurants, you'll have something like this for brekkie. But yeah. bre for brunch, but, but, but a later breakfast? breakfast. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, show us okay. the third okay. one. What's the so third, third one, one I'm going to make a goat's cheese and smoked salmon... Goat's cheese and smoked salmon omelette. Oh, no, that's... Oh, now, yeah. you see, I recognise that as breakfast. Okay. okay. Let's so do Deborah's breakfast. What I need... <laughs> a bit late. You, you cook, right? Yeah. Okay, let's crack the eggs so into the, there. The wife's going to say, oh, oh, yeah. How many? Uh, let's put them all in. All in, all yeah, in. Okay. five eggs. Oh. We're going to oh. add... Oh, look at that. What did Flash. you see? Oh, look at that. Who <laughs> <laughs> <It> works? <laughs> Yes, I'll pick all the shell out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> bit of water. Water breaks down the egg, just makes the omelette a lot uh, better texture. Oh, really? Bit of I've salt never done and pepper. That. Uh, some parsley we're going to throw in. There's not much shell in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking good from here. Yeah. A little bit down there. Well, it might be a bit crunchy for you, never. That parsley, yeah. Bit of parsley. Yes. You need to uh, just whisk that up with a fork. I just realised that I appear to be cooking this meal rather than you. Isn't that a cut? Yeah. Isn't it, well, you're just so multi-talented. Come over here. <laughs> so I'll just whisk this up. Whisk it up, yeah. Then. So is this for one person? This is for two. We're going to make oh, two omelettes right. here. Okay. Yeah. So what do you have for brekkie? Are you more a I porridge person? most mornings, and that, then once a week I'll let myself have that's a cooked good. one. Really? Like porridge every day. Mm. Yeah. And so, oaty porridge? Yes. Yeah, we, we also make a porridge with brown rice. Ooh. And we use miso, which is a soybean yeah. extract, and it adds a beautiful flavour to it. I always feel it's doing my blood good if I have porridge. <laughs> yeah, porridge. So, so you have porridge with rice? Yeah. Because I kind of thought porridge would be... The fact it's no oats is, makes it porridge. Uh, well, it is, but a porridge also can be a gruel. So if you go through China or Malaysia or Singapore, where I was recently, you'll have congee, which is overcooked rice, which cooks for a long, long time. Then you have on things like thousand-year-old eggs. Thousand-year-old uh, eggs? Yeah, thousand-year-old eggs. Thousand-year-old <laughs> <laughs> eggs. Get this nice yes, and right. Okay, yes. you put half in each pan. Yeah. Nice need, and going. So you need two pans. Two pans for this. So right. you're two, two or three eggs. The thing. We're yeah. going to crumble in some of the goat's cheese. Just yeah, let crumble just, it in. Yeah, crumble it in. Okay, I like goat's cheese. I love it. Some people don't like it. Deborah, are you a goat's cheese? I final? do like goat's I love cheese. it. It's this is of, getting better. Isn't it? All right, okay. Mm. I'm glad we're doing something. Mm. In, in, in bit in each? A or? bit in each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Long it in. More coming. What about a smoked salmon? Smoked salmon. Smoked goat's salmon. Cheese. Wow. Something you'd probably have eggs benedict, wouldn't you, for bricky? Oh. Yes, that, yes. Yeah, would you yes. ever put smoked salmon in an omelette? Or Actually, yes. Yeah. So, no, I will have smoked salmon for breakfast. I'm really I'm going really off my porridge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me give you a... Well, he soaked salmon going in and there you go. goes... Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. you come here often. Hi, I come here often. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Right, OK. OK. We're going to get a... And you oh. like to cook, not? Oh, no, this is oh, it, Debbie, yes. No. You were wondering if oh, we get round right to this, dear. weren't you? Deborah Meaden, do you cook? <sighs> I haven't cooked a meal in 25 years. Oh. Oh. 
So who took Wait, did I just... Did you just make me say that? I did what he did, wasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> 25 years. Yeah, my husband is a fantastic cook, and he loves cooking, so we don't fight over the kitchen. Okay. Ah. It's my way of keeping us happy. I do occasionally, <laughs> yes, but again, you know, I'm not there, you know, generally, I get home and the meal's been sort of sorted, because Mrs T's a very good cook, mm. oh, really? and it's like having a good gardener, you know, why do you do it yourself if you've got somebody else who'll do it, you know, so. Ah. And the old saying goes up north, if you've got a dog, why do you bark yourself? Mm. Yeah. So, oh, okay, these are looking good. Around. Around. Right. So the key with an egg is that you either cook it for a long time, time at a low heat or, yeah. or reasonably quickly it just it stops going too tough and so this is reasonably this is quickly. we set it off really slow just to set it and now we're just going to get it cooking on a higher heat and the thing with an egg too is it can be a little bit raw so long as you've got a, a good egg people worry about that you see is it yeah. healthy to eat to eat raw well, of course people drink raw egg after they've had a night on the tiles don't yeah, they beef tart here with an egg yolk tossed through yeah. it and stuff yeah so, so yeah. long as it's the, all to do with the quality so a good egg, egg so we okay. just flip her over Whoop. just get it Cooking on both sides here. Same in here. We'll Ooh. just put some of the egg. We'll give you the cooked one, don't worry, Devon. We always make people do things too fast on here, Peter. I'm sorry about oh, that. Oh, no, no, it's all right. But it does look good. It's just got all the things in it I love. Ah, okay. Go goat cheese and smoked salmon. Okay, and so this one's ready to go. Uh, do you keep chickens? Devon, you don't keep chickens, obviously. I do, we do, actually. Do no, we keep chickens. We've got oh. ch chickens, geese, and duck. Oh, so you've got we, the supply yeah. of eggs is all right. We have then. a big supply of eggs. So this is, this is ready to this eat? This is your first one. Yeah. This is ready to go. So it couldn't be quick. Yeah, I shall bring, bring it over to you. Thank you. Have a look at that. Thank you. There's a fork. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's better than porridge or better than a slice of toast. But would you consider having something like a spicy brekkie? Would you have... No, too early for spice, but I would have smoked salmon, definitely. Smoked salmon yeah. and scrambled eggs I like. That's a great treat. Yeah. Is that good? Mm. Oh. That is lovely. Wonderful. Yeah, She's, are you in? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> that is lovely. I'll have a taste. I'll have a bit of the smoked salmon on the, on the end of it, on this end. And the great thing with this is there's great British smoked salmon, there's great British goat's cheese, beautiful eggs. It's all kind of local, seasonal, easy oh. to source. That is just... Because the goat's cheese is melted into it. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. Deborah will be back later to tell us all about the latest series of Dragon's Den. All the receipts, as they say, as they used to say, the recipes, or in Peter's book, this wonderful Peter Gordon's everyday cooking, full of stuff like this, which is really great, and you can do it every day. Dragon's Den will be back a little bit later on, and grill her then, see how she does when she's <laughs> had her omelette. But for now, my thanks to Deborah Meaden and Breakfast Supremo, Peter Gordon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.